Hello, Marlon. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thank you. And you, teacher? I'm very good. Then. It's nice to see you tonight. Thank you, teacher. Did you enjoy yesterday, your day off? Um, more or less. I, I work hard in the house. Oh, really? What did you do? Did you paint in your house? No, but uh, some uh, chains light on the, on the, on the house. Um, and another thing. Okay. That's pretty cool, right? You teacher. What you do yesterday? I stay at home. I relax here at home. I enjoy with my family. Oh, interesting. I wanted to I wanted to go to a pool or lake, but I couldn't. Good evening, oh, teacher. Like, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, yes, it is. I wanted to visit yesterday, but unfortunately, we couldn't go. But maybe another time, right? Hello, Raul Edgardo. Welcome to the class in Delhi. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? ¿Cómo estuvo este martes con sabor a lunes? Was it good, excellent, bad? How was it? Raúl, tell me. ¿Cómo estuvo su día al día de hoy? Was it excellent? Was it great? I am okay, teacher. Ah, you are okay. That's great. Very nice. And what about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hicieron el día de ayer en su día libre? Descansar, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, rest. I stay at home. I rest a lot. I sleep. Did you watch a movie yesterday? So you relax yesterday. That is excellent, right? Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm uh, feeling fine. Excellent. Okay, guys, it's nice to see you tonight. It's a pleasure to be with you this night. So tonight we are going to start with section number four. This is week number three, and we are going to start with section four. So I hope that everyone has finished section one, section two, section three, and also the meter exam. Todos los que están conectados el día de hoy ya terminaron el examen de medio curso de meter exam. Todos lo realizaron ya. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. That is excellent. That's excellent. And also section one, section two, and section three, right? All of them must be finished. And for this week, you have to complete the section number four. And let's start with this. In the section, we are going to talk about the simple past tense. So, what did you do, right? ¿Qué hizo? ¿Qué hizo ayer? What did you do yesterday? What did you do last week? ¿Qué hizo la semana pasada? What did you do last month? What did you do last year? So, simple past tense. And tonight, we are going to study the simple past tense with the regular verbs. In the simple past tense, we have two types of verbs. Tenemos dos tipos de verbos en este tiempo. Uno de ellos son los regulares, regular verbs, and also we have the irregular verbs. And tonight, we are going to study regular verbs. We are going to focus on that. Okay? ¿Alguien ya comenzó a trabajar en la sección número 4 en la plataforma? Oh, no, yet. 
No, teacher, ayer no, no era el día del trabajo. Era el día del trabajo, no, ni abrimos. Eh. <laughs> ok, no problem, right? But we have to do this during this week, right? And remember that we are going to have classes from Tuesday to Friday. So, el próximo viernes sí tenemos clase. Para que ya lo vayan apartando. Sí tenemos clase el próximo viernes. So, let's start with this. Let me share with you the presentation for tonight. And we're going to start this class. Okay, simple pass with regular verbs. And tonight is our class number nine. So, you are in the beginner three course. And let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. This is what we are going to learn. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. So positive and negative statements, oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas in simple past tense. And we are going to study regular verbs. So let's start with this conversation here. Read this conversation. It's between Michael and Jennifer. And Michael is asking Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Tuviste un buen fin de semana? And Jennifer answered, well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my room and I clean, did laundry and shop, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Oh, poor Michael, right? Pobre Michael, se le olvidó que tenía examen y no estudió. ¿Les ha pasado alguna vez? ¿Les pasó alguna vez cuando eran estudiantes? O si aún lo son, llegaron a clase y se dieron cuenta que ese día que había examen. Y se pasaron todo el fin de la cancha. Playing soccer or watching movies or doing something like that. Right? So, did you have a good weekend? Look at this question. Did you have a good weekend? That is in simple past. I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. I said, really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my room and I cleaned, did laundry and shop. And then I visited my party. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. Okay, can you please tell me some verbs that you can find in this conversation? Veamos, ¿cuáles verbos puedes identificar en esta conversación? Um, had. Had is one, excellent, that is one. Any other? Feel. Feel, yes, that is another verb. Which other one can you find in this small conversation? Which other bear can you identify? Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Exercise is another bear there. Cleaning. Oh, clean. Yes, clean. Thank you. Any other? Chopper. Shop. Excellent. Shop. Laundry. Um, laundry. No, no, it is a no. Did. Did is a bear. Did. Did is a bear. Um, Which other one? Visitor. Oh, visited. yes, visited. Excellent. Visited. Yes, visited is one. Do. Do. Excellent. Do is another bear. Studied. Studied. Yes, studied. That is another bear. Watch it. Watch, yes. Very good. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, right. Those are the verbs in this conversation. And some of them are in simple past. 
Algunos de ellos están en pasado simple. Like, for example, had, cleaned, did, job, visited, studied, eh, let me see which other one, and watched. Watched. All of them are simple past. But before to study this verb, let's listen this conversation. Pay attention, please, to the pronunciation and also the intonation because you are going to practice with your classmates after listening to this. So pay attention. Give me a second. I'm going to move. Here we go. I'm going to change this option. And let's start with this. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy... Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. Let's start. I'm sorry. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. <laughs> okay. Now I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice tonight? Who wants to practice? Alejandra Maria, thank you. I'm not Alejandra. Another volunteer? Yes, please. No. Alejandra and also. Any other volunteer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, Carmen. Alejandra and Carmen. So, Alejandra, you are going to read Michael Park, and Carmen, you are going to read Jennifer. Okay, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a bus, a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and super, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, thank you so much. That was almost perfect. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Very good explanation. Congratulations, girl. Very good job. Now, let me see this. How do you pronounce this word? Busy, busy, or busy? What is busy. the word pronunciation? Busy. busy. Oh, busy is okay. I have a busy weekend. That's great. Now, how do you pronounce this pair in simple past? Is it shopper or shop? Shop. Shop, right? Es con una T al final, pero eso es lo que vamos a aprender el día de hoy. ¿Cómo pronunciar los verbos en pasado? Simple. Y existen tres sonidos, ¿verdad? Les voy adelantando. Son tres sonidos. Okay. Eh, D sound, D sound, and E sound. I, D sound. But we are going to learn that later, but in this class. So thank you so much for your participation. So do you have any question in this? Any new words, new vocabulary in this conversation? No, no problem with the vocabulary. A roommate, for example, what is the meaning of a roommate? Roommate is como compañera de cuarto. Oh, excellent. That is the right translation. Very good. Now let's see. Test. What is the meaning of test? Do we have a test today? Test. Es como el resto del día, no sé. No, oh, this word, oh, no. test. Test, examen. Ah, test. Examen, yes, examen, test. test. Very good. Did the laundry, what is this? Did the laundry. Lavadero. Lavar. 
Ah, okay. Lava, lavadora, algo así. Ok, es como lavar la ropa en la lavadora. Little laundry. That is. Little laundry. And let's continue then. Ok, look at this example in simple past tense. Um, I studied on Sunday. You watch television. You stay at home. We shop for the groceries. They exercise on Saturday. In simple past tense, using regular verbs, almost all of the verbs add ed at the end. Utilizamos ed al final de los verbos para hacerlos en pasado simple. Look at this example here. Watch, for example. Agregamos ed y ya tenemos la forma pasada de este verbo. Watch, watch. watch. Then we have study, study. Exercise, exercise. Then stay, stay. Stayed. And we have shop. Shop. Then we add ed to form the simple path of the regular verb. And I have here the example. I studied on Sunday. Eh, yo estudié el domingo. You watch television. Tu viste televisión. She stayed at home. Ella estuvo en casa. We shopped for groceries. Ella fue de compras. ¿no? For alimentos, the exercise on Saturday. Ellos ejercitaron el día sábado. Now, if I want to make a negative sentence in simple past, I'm going to use this auxiliary, did. I'm going to use did plus not. Y esto contractado se pronuncia didn't. And I have this example. I didn't study on Saturday. Y ahora, yo no estudié el día sábado. Didn't. El auxiliar, entonces, toma el pasado del verbo, ¿verdad? Y el Ajá. verbo lo vamos... El lo vamos, verbo queda en, en, lo en normal. Normal, ¿verdad? En presente o mm. infinitivo, podemos decir. So, I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't talk for club. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Let's see the next example here. Eh, okay, to add ed to the verb, to the regular verb, we need to follow some rules. Necesitamos seguir algunas reglas para agregar el ed, ¿verdad? Hay algunas excepciones. Let's start with rule number one. Regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the end of the verb. Example, love, wash, started, call, and listening. Now let's go with the exception. If the verb ends in the letter E, you just add E. Si los verbos terminan en la letra E, solo agregamos la letra T. Easy, right? So, example, like, agreed, pay, and pay. Si, si el verbo termina en una E, solo agregamos T. In this case, like this example. In rule number three, is a verb end in consonant plus Y. You take off the Y and add. I, E, D. Si los verbos terminan en esta combinación consonante más una Y, then you take off the Y, quitamos la Y, agregamos I, E, D. Examples, carry, try, cry, and cry. Ok. And let's see rule number four. But if we're in a vowel, in a vowel, sorry, plus Y, you just add E, D. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más Y, you are going to add just ED. Okay? Let's see the example play, for example. Look at play. Termina en una vocal más una Y. De, no necesitamos eliminarla, solo agregamos ED. Pray. Pray. Ok, termina acá, ¿verdad? En una vocal Y. Entonces, no necesitamos eliminarla, solo agregamos ED y pray. This is simple path. Enjoy. Is the same way. Oh, it's a bad word, so enjoy, enjoy. No tenemos que eliminarla. And delay, delay. And the last rule or the last section, when a one-syllable verb any vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. Cuando tenemos esta combinación en los verbos, stop. Look at this. Consonant, vowel, consonant. 
Entonces tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante en el simple past stop. Plan. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Then you plan. Hop. And we have consonant, vowel, consonant again. Duplicamos la segunda consonante y agregamos el. Then we have back is the same way. Consonant, vowel, consonant. We have to duplicate the second consonant, back. And those are the rules to add ED. Do you have an equation in this part? Rule number one. Most of the verbs just add ED. La mayoría de los verbos solo agregamos ED. Rule number two, if the verb ends in E, you just add D. Si el verbo termina en E, solo agregamos D. Rule number three, if a verb ends in a consonant plus Y, you take off the Y and add I, E, D. Si el verbo termina en una consonante más Y, eliminamos la Y y agregamos I y luego E, D. Rule number four, if a verb ends in a vowel plus Y, you just add E, D. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más Y, solo agregamos ED. No tenemos que eliminarlo. En rule number five, si tenemos esta combinación, consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicamos la segunda consonante antes de agregar ED y tenemos el verbo en pasado. Sí. Do you have any question? No question. Ok. If you don't have any question. Let's do this. Let's do this example. Let's practice. Number one, we a movie at night. Watch. ¿Cómo convierto ese verbo a pasado simple? Ver. Watch. ¿Qué necesito? Watch. Watch. Ed. 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 Okay, yeah, right. We need to add ED to make it in simple path. So we watched a movie last night. Perfect. Second, turn the computer an hour ago. D. Oh, D. Okay. As this verb ends in letter E, then we need just to add E. Yes. Can use the computer an hour ago. Now, number three, yesterday, mon a cake. Bake is the bear. Only D. Only D. Only D. Okay, we need to add just D, right? Bake. Who they would outside? Chop. B, 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 Easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the whole night. I it. Okay, uh -huh. excellent. Y de este verbo termina en consonante más y. Entonces tengo que eliminar esa y, agregar una y normal y luego agrego id. Yes. Right. It right the whole night. Hablando de un perrito en la que trajimos hoy por primera vez en la casa. It cried the whole night. Lloró toda la noche. <laughs> It cried the whole night. Then, any volunteer to read the examples one to three? Any volunteer who wants to practice? Yo, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's start. We watched a movie last night. Sam use use the computer and or ego. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Who to feed the wool outside? Dan took dinner for us last week. It cried the whole night. 
Okay, very good job. Let's just some words here. Let me see this one. Ago, an hour ago, and bake, bake, outside, and let me see, whole, whole night, the whole night. Okay, the rest was perfect. Thank you so much. Very good job, Ana Yasmin. Thank you. Let's continue with the next thing here, pronunciation. Okay, as I said before, there are the three sounds to pronounce the final in e. Um, We used to read like work it, watch it, clean it, stay it, invite it, or visit it. But that is not the right pronunciation. Okay, Ana Lucia, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Then let's see. Uh, in the simple past tense of the regular verbs, we are going to pronounce this ed like t in some verbs. And so now there is we're going to pronounce the letter d. In lugar de ser clean it, we are going to say cleaned con una de al final. Stayed, stayed. Y algunos verbos vamos a pronunciar invited or visited. Visited, invited. Con sonido aid, aid. Worked, watched, cleaned, stayed, invited or visited. Pero no vamos a leer la idea, ¿verdad? Así como work, watch. It. Mm -mm. We don't use the sound. Lo vamos a pronunciar como T, como D o como una y D. Let's listen these examples. Just give me a second. These verbs end in T. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in D. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in Id. Invited. Visited. Listen again. Pay attention. L try to repeat, right? Try to repeat the sound at the end of this verb. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, now can you listen the pronunciation? Worked. Watched. Cleaned. Stayed. Invited. Visited. That is the pronunciation of the final ed in the regular verbs, right? So anyone until to try to pronounce this six verb in simple path. Anybody wants to try? I can come. Oh, thanks so much, Gabriel. Um, work, watched, cleaned, stayed, invited, visited. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Gabriel. Anybody? Anybody wants to try? Any other volunteer who wants to practice in this part? Try to pronounce this final ED sound correctly in this six bear. Anybody? Uno más y vamos a la siguiente actividad. Anybody? Anybody? ¿Quién salva la clase? One. Two, three, four, five. Nobody <laughs> wants. Ah, come on. That is easy. You say work, watch, clean, stayed, invited, visited. Anybody? Me, me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Let's start. Let's try it. Work, watch, clean, stay. Invite, visit. Okay, almost perfect. Just in this one. Cleaned. <laughs> cleaned. And visited. 
gusta. Los demás, perfecto. Thank you, very good. The rest, very good. Anybody? Anybody wants to try? Water. Ah, Alejandra, thank you. Let's listen to Alejandra. Work, watch, clean, stay, invited, visited. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now the question is... Teacher. Uh, yeah. Pero hay alguna regla, digamos, para diferenciar la pronunciación. Ah, okay. That is an excellent question, right? Okay. ¿Cómo saber cuándo pronunciar this town, this town, or I, this town? These verbs... Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, these are the rules. How I am going to pronounce e, this town? ¿Cómo voy a saber cuándo voy a utilizar T or B sound? Or when I'm going to use it sound? Now, let's, let's start with the sound it. If the verb end in a T or a D sound, use the it ending. Si el verbo termina en una T o una D, en el sonido, en el sonido de una T o una D, entonces vamos a utilizar it at the end of the verb. Look at this one. El verbo one termina en una letra T. One. Cuando le agregamos el ED para hacerlo en pasado simple, we are going to say one it. One it. Need termina en una letra T. Cuando agregamos ED y lo hacemos pasado, vamos a pronunciar need it. Need it. Need it. Entonces, si el verbo termina en sonido de T, o en sonido de D, antes de agregarle el D, entonces vamos a pronunciar it. ¿Ok? That is the sound. Now let's see. Sound. Sound. Or P sound. Any of the verbs that end in this voiceless sound. Si el verbo termina en uno de estos sonidos que están acá, entonces vamos a pronunciar como una T. Let's see. Help. Termina en este sonido, P sound, right? So, we say, help, help, wash. Si termina en S-A sound, S-A, wash. Then we are going to pronounce like the wash. Wash, wash. Wash, help, wash. Any of the verb that ends with a vowel sound or the sound L M N K R D V B V W N C. Si el verbo termina en una en uno de estos sonidos, we are going to use the the sound. Examples: call, play, call. Cuando agregamos el de cold, cold. Play, cuando agregamos el de, we say played, played, with this sound at the end. So, is it clear now? Esto es lo que tenemos que aprender. Si el verbo termina en T o D, eh, vamos a pronunciar it, like wanted, needed. Si los verbos terminan en uno de los siguientes sonidos, uh, P, K, F, S, S, A, T, H, or T, H, we are going to pronounce like T, help, wash. This sound, if any of the verb that ends with a vowel sound of the sounds, L, M, A, J, R, G, T, T, W, and C. And I have the example, hold, hold, play, play. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's try to read correctly this one. Any volunteer? Look at this small paragraph. Aquí están los diferentes, los tres sonidos que están en los verbos que están en negrito. In this paragraph, for last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Let's see, walk. ¿Qué sonido escuchan al final? Walk. Walk. 
es el sonido de T, sonido de D, o sonido I. De T. Ah, T is down, well, to my favorite restaurant, when I go there, I glance, glance, with sound. The same. The same, T is down, right, through the meaning. The way I arrived, and I ordered, in this one, The sound. The sound. Sí. The last. Sí. The waiter handed me the bill. I left mm -hmm. her because my meal tasted great. Y en los últimos dos. It is sound. It is sound. Right? It is sound. And now you can see here. Walk. Glance. Then a ride. Ordered. Handed. Tasted. Very good. Now I need a volunteer to practice reading this small paragraph and try to pronounce this word correctly with the correct sound at the end of the E. <clears throat> Anybody? Any volunteer? Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. So let's listen to Anna last weekend. Last weekend. I walk, walk to my favorite restaurant. When I go there, I place through the menu. He waited a read and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter and me the bill. I left happy house. My meal tastes great. Excellent, very good job. Just as what favorite uh, to my favorite restaurant, glance through the menu, then a uh, ride ordered a stick. Very good job, thank you. Now let's listen, Alexandra. Uh, last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived. And I ordered steak after dinner. Waiter handed me the bill and he left. I left happy because my meal tasted great. That yeah. was excellent. Very good pronunciation of the easy sound of this bird. The last volunteer to move for another exercise. The last one, the last volunteer. Just one more. Me, teacher. Thank you. Um, last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. Um, after dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy cows, my meal, and tasted great. Very good try. That was awesome. Thank you so much. So I walked, I glanced, I ride, ordered, handed, and tasted. Those are the very, the regular, very simple past in this example. Thank you. You did a great job in this part. Thank you so much. Anna, Carmen, and Alejandra for your help. Thank you for your participation. If you don't have any questions, let's try to pronounce this sentence. Then. Anybody wants to try? And number one, number two, number three, number four. They are sentences in simple past tense. So try to pronounce this correctly. Let's see the first one is call. The verb is call. Then it's any L sound, right? And then we are going to pronounce like this sound at the end. And also we have need with any D sound. We are going to pronounce it sound at the end of the verb. Then we have Push, right? It and in S H, then we are going to pronounce like T sound in this one. And study. 
we are going to pronounce like is down in this one. That is. Like ED sound, sorry, in the last one. So let's see number one. Any volunteer who wants to try it? Just one. Nobody one. Let's try to read these four sentences. If not, I'm gonna choose somebody. Let me choose this. Anna Yasmin, can you help me please? I did it. Oh, okay, Carmen, after <laughs> Anna Yasmin. Continue, Anna Yasmin, please. Uh, I called the police. I knew, knew a Sweden. He pushed the button. I started for the test. Excellent. How can you see that was very easy? A very good job. Thank you, Anna Yasmin. That was excellent. You say cold, needed, pushed, pushed, and studied. Excellent job. Thank you. Now let's listen to Carmen, please. Um, I carry the police or the police. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I needed a zero. He pushed the button. I studied for the test. Excellent. Very good pronunciation of the verb. The police. I called the police. And I needed a sweater. I needed a sweater. Very good job. Thank you. Can you see that was easy? So remember, D sound, E sound, T sound, and E sound. The last volunteer to read these sentences. Let's practice the pronunciation of the simple past regular verbs. Simple past of the regular verbs. Anybody? The last volunteer. Just one more. Me, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. I called the police. I need. Uh, sweet. He pushed the ball. I studied for the test. Excellent job. That was perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. And here you can see the sound. Let's say, I called the police. They needed a sweater. He pushed the button. I studied for the test. So you can see here the sound right, of each bear. Thank you so much for your help in this. Now we need to use the following structure to make sentences simple past. Right? Ahora que ya sabemos cómo agregar el ED, ¿verdad? Los verbos regulares. Ya sabemos cómo pronunciarlos. Cómo hacemos oraciones. How do we make sentences in this tense? Easy. We are going to follow this structure. Subject, where in the past tense, that's a complement. That is easy, right? You need three things to make a, a sentence in simple past tense with the regular verb. Subject, un sujeto, verb in the past tense, el verbo en pasado simple, and a complement, y un complement. And you are done. Look at this example. I studied on Sunday. Then we have here the subject, the verb in simple past, and the complement. You watch television. You is the subject. Watch is the verb in simple past tense, and television is the complement. He stayed at home. He is the subject. He stayed is the verb in simple past tense, at home, the complement. We shop for groceries. They exercise on Saturday. So, kind of easy. Those are affirmative sentences. Now, let's practice. Use the verb in the box to complete the following sentence. And we have live, enjoy, stop, jump, and stay. Look at sentence number one. They, the curse. What is the right word to complete this sentence? They live. Enjoy. Enjoy. So oh, let's see if you're yeah. right. Uh, yes, you're right. They enjoy the curse. Now let's see the second. They cut out the light. The car live, 
the car stop, the car jump, or the car stay. The car stop it. Okay, excellent. Stopped at the line. At the, number, line. the frog very high. Jump it. Ah, okay, jump. Frog jump it very high. Jump. Okay, very high. Number four, rose home uh, alone. Leave it. Which one did you choose? Rose leave home alone. Stay. Stay. Frequency stayed is the answer. Rose okay. stay home alone. And finally, we have leave. Very good. Yes, stay. What is the pronunciation of this one? Enjoy it. Is that the pronunciation? Enjoy it. Is that correct? Enjoy it. Hey, stop it. Jump it. Stay it or leave it. Is that the right pronunciation of this word? Then we have enjoyed with this sound. Enjoyed, stop, jump, stayed, and leave, leave. Okay, that is the right pronunciation. So they enjoyed the cruise. The car stopped at the light. The frog jumped very high. Rose stayed home alone. He lived in Rome a long time ago. Very good job in this exercise. Now let's see negative sentences. Esas eran las oraciones afirmativas. Para hacer oraciones negativas or negative sentences, we need to follow this structure. Subject, didn't, the verb in present, plus complement. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Let's see the following exercise here. Can you please um, order this work to make a sentence? What is the right sentence in this part? I have didn't. She said I held my... Oh, I didn't help. Okay, excellent. I didn't help my sister. That is the right answer. Then I have the second. Car, he, wife, didn't kiss. What is the sentence number two? He didn't his car wash. He didn't. He didn't his car wash. Mm, you are close. You are close. You are close to the sentence. He didn't <clears throat> wash his car. Excellent, Marvin. That is the real answer. He didn't wash his car. And yesterday, goal, we didn't play. We didn't play uh, yesterday, goal. Okay, you are close. You are close to the answer. Any other option? We didn't play golf yesterday. Ah, okay, that is excellent. We didn't play golf yesterday. And I have this other one. I have two planned a trip from Mexico, the boys. The boys plan a trip to Mexico. Ah, okay, the boys plan a trip to Mexico. And what about the next one? Dance, Peter, Sultan, with Wolf, da. Any idea what is the sentence? And the number five. Peter dancing uh, with Susan. 
the oh, you, are, you are doing good, but we need to change some word. We need still to change some word that answer. Peter dance with Susan the walls. The walls. The... Okay. Okay, you are close to the answer. Let me see the answer. Let's see a look at this. Were you right? Number one, I didn't tell my sister. Number two, number two, it's he didn't wash his car. Number three, we didn't play golf yesterday. Number four, the boys planned a trip to Mexico. And the last one, Peter danced the world with Susan. Teacher, yes? what is balls? Uh, balls. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Any question in this exercise? No questions. Okay, if you don't have any question, I'm just sure you don't have question. Well, yes. now. I'm going to tell you some regular verbs and you are going to give me sentences. Yo les digo una actividad y usted me dice si la hizo o no la hizo el fin de semana, ¿ok? So, regular verbs. Let's see, for example, cook. Cook. Then you say, I cook eh, on weekend. Yo cociné el fin de semana. Y si usted no cocinó, ¿cómo sería la oración? La oración negativa. I didn't cook. Ah, ok, excelente. I didn't cook. I didn't cook on weekend. Nice. Study. Study. I am, I am study. Mm, ah, pero eso sería en este momento. I am studying. Yo estoy estudiando. I didn't study. I, I didn't, didn't study. Ah, ok, muy bien. I didn't study. That is a good sentence. I didn't study. Yo no estudié. I didn't study. On weekend. No estudié el fin de semana. Uh, what about watch? Watch television. I didn't watch it. Uh, is that correct? I Después... didn't watch. Ah, ok. Después del didn't, ya no utilizamos edever. Va en, el verbo va en presente. I didn't watch TV. Yo no vi televisión. Then I have cook, I have study, and watch. What about clean your house? Did you clean your house? ¿Limpió usted su casa el fin de semana? Clean. Hey, I did it. Tell me. I didn't clean on weekend. Okay, I didn't clean on weekend. Very good. No limpié el fin de semana. I didn't clean on weekend. What about wash your cloth? Wash. Did you wash your cloth? Lavo su ropa el fin de semana? I didn't wash my cloth for a weekend. Ah, okay, I didn't wash my clothes on weekend. Very good. What about played? Play soccer. Did you play soccer on weekend? I didn't play soccer on weekend. Ah, you didn't play soccer on weekend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, look at the following verb. So we have cook. What is the simple past? Para hacerlo en pasado simple, ¿qué necesito agregarle? Easy. Ah, okay, Easy. excellent. Easy. Easy. Cook. Easy. Y con qué letra voy a pronunciar la E de final en cook? E, D, or E sound. T, D. Ah, T sound, T sound. Very good. So the cook. What about wash? Wash. 
para hacer lo pasado, necesito agregarle que idioma. La pronunciación final va a ser. Watch it. 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 With this sound. Then I have clean. 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 Then, clean. simple pass. Clean. 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 With this sound of the end. Excellent. Clean. Then a stay. 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 Está. Primero, para convertir este verbo en pasado simple, necesito agregarle o quitarle. Cambiar, la, la, cambiar la, 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 y. la Y por Y latina y agregar. Ed, Ed, Ed le va a agregar. Muy bien, ¿por qué no le quito la Y latina? Está en lo correcto, solo tengo que agregar Ed. ¿Por qué no le quito la Y? Porque no es consonante. La ah, anterior. Ok, excelente, porque ah. la letra anterior a la Y es una vocal, entonces solo agrego Ed. Stay. Very good. Now let's see. Look at this one. Right. Ahí sí. Sí. Te quita la Y y se agrega bueno, la I. Aquí sí, o sea, le damos, le damos en sí. la neck a la pobre Ay. Y y agregamos. <risa> 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 bueno, de ahí se es right. Right. Excellent. Very good. Right. Nice. Now let's see the next one. This is a play. What do I have to do? Yes. E-D. E-D, yes, E-D, right? Now, what? Watch it. E-D. E-D, too? Okay, excellent. Watch it. And the T, what, what, what's the other one? No, work. What about this other bear? Well, yes. E-D. Easy, right? Easy. Easy. Okay, okay. Nice. Now Watch look it. at these actions. I have cook, wash, clean, stay, fry, play, watch, and walk. Eh, ¿Cuál de estas actividades se hizo o no hizo el fin de semana? Vale, vamos a comenzar con Carmen. Uy. So, si usted hizo esta actividad, entonces I cook. Si I cook. Lavo, I wash. Y si no lo hizo, I didn't. I didn't. So I cook. I cook. <laughs> Perfect. I, yeah. uh, I clean. I watch. I watch. Yeah, I walk. Uh, okay, very good. And uh, what about staying home? Did you stay home last weekend? Estuvo en casa el fin de semana. <laughs> yes, I, stay. I stay home. That is the sentence. Very good. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién quiere continuar después de Carmen? ¿Qué hizo? ¿Qué no hizo el fin de semana? ¿Quién no cocinó? Estuvo ordenando pizza, pollo campero. Solo llamaba y le llevaban a la puerta de la casa. Creí. Eh, cook. ¿Eni Marí? Bueno, una oración cada uno. ¿verdad? Y nos vamos a ir desconectando. Una actividad que hice, una actividad que no hice, ¿ok? Y el que lo vaya diciendo se puede ir a descansar el día de hoy. I didn't watch the dishes, Alejandra, I didn't watch the dishes. Oh, I didn't watch the dishes. Okay, <laughs> I didn't watch the dishes. Mm. Con los platos utilizamos do. Ah. I didn't do the dishes. Well, wash, we can use wash. Okay. So, <laughs> lleva una, Alejandra. You had one. Uh, I cook bean soup. Okay, excellent. I cook bean soup. I'm pretty sure that it was delicious. Thank you so much, Alessandra. So, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Anybody? I didn't cook, teacher. Yes, you have one sentence. I didn't cook. 
एकदम है any then we want one more and you can i cook teacher <laughs> oh francisca say i cook very good lleva yes. una francisca <laughs> okay cuántas son just two two sentences bye 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 eh, está una oración de irse a descansar anybody I work weekend. I didn't watch TV. Ah, okay. I didn't watch TV and I work on the weekend. Very good. Work is another regular verb. Excellent. Yo trabajé, yo vi, tele, yo no vi televisión. Excellent. And then, bye bye, Ana. See you tomorrow. Ana, Yasmin, tell me. I cook. Mm -hmm. I didn't play. Uh, I cook and I didn't play. Very good sentence. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks. Teacher. Tell me, Manuel. I clean uh, a car. Yes, I oh, clean car? my car. I clean my car. Lleva una, le falta una, Manuel. Go, 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 just one. I clean your my car weekend. I cleaned my car on the weekend. Excellent. Lleva una, le falta una. Um, yeah, I not cook. Cook, I, uh, I didn't. I didn't cook. I I didn't cook. Weekend on the weekend. Perfect sentence. Thank you. I didn't cook on the weekend. That was excellent. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me tonight. Los demás no se han salvado. Al principio de la clase les toca. Okay. Ok, teacher. Ah, Gabriel quiere salir de eso y te va a decir ahora. Uh, I didn't buy my food on weekend. Ah, ok. I didn't buy my food. Ok, that is a good sentence. Pero buy es un irregular verb. Um, eh, eso lo uh, vamos a estudiar mañana. Pero la oración okay. está perfecta. Uh -huh. The okay. second. Um, I didn't work. Uh, on the main street um, on weekend. Excellent. I didn't work on the main street on the weekend. Perfect sentence. Eh? Thank you, guys. Don't forget about the plan for exercises. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Please sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye. And now I'm going to Ay, todavía la puedo escuchar, Marija. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me your sentences. I didn't. Eh, what? Wicked. I didn't, I didn't watch, wicked. I didn't I watch didn't... TV. Yes. Ah, okay. I didn't watch TV on the weekend. Lleva una, le falta una. I didn't cook on the cook. I didn't cook. No cocine. Excellent. I didn't cook on the weekend. Okay. Perfect sentence. Eh. Bueno, ya está salvo para mañana. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Marvin. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, teacher.